in today's class we will take one of the mechanism okay the given diagram of this mechanism is like this and uh, here OA is the crank it is rotating clockwise because of this rotation this slider will slide in a horizontal path okay this one is a mechanism in it the given data is crank OA is has rotational velocity 600 rpm OA is the crank this is rotating with the speed in terms of rpm given n OA is equal to 600 rpm okay. and other given data is here in this uh, we need to find the slider velocity this slider is moving horizontally we need to find the value that is linear velocity we are calling this given diagram is space diagram okay always remember it so according to the given dimension we need to do the space diagram sometimes this diagram is will be given so in our uh, example this diagram has given already we have to do by using the drafter next output we need to find is linked to bd angular velocity here this is the bd link we need to find angular velocity as we know angular velocity means omega small w so we need to find this value also bd okay and then what other given data crank is inclined at 75 degrees with the vertical okay it is given so this is the vertical this crank is making 75 degrees this angle is necessary for doing this diagram i did this diagram by using the drafter okay always use drafter for uh, constructing velocity diagrams and this type of diagrams you will get the correct values okay. here i did first vertical line i have marked one point here oa i did 75 degrees line on this 75 degrees line i have marked oa value OA is given it is 28 mm means 2.8 centimeters on this inclined line I have marked 2.8 centimeter after that AB is given 44 mm or 4.4 centimeters and then BC is given 4.9 centimeters BC means this value is given and then BD length is 4.6 centimeters so here the uh, again one more data center distance between O and C here there are two centers O and C the distance between O and C is 65 mm or 6.5 centimeters this distance is 6.5 centimeters okay and then next given data is the path of the slider is 11 mm below the fixed point C what is the path of the slider it is horizontal the distance between C and path of this slider is this is 11 mm means 1.1 centimeter okay. so here next is slider is moving horizontal as we know slider is moving by seeing this diagram it is moving horizontal and the OC is verticals both O and C are fixed points both are on the vertical okay. so here according to the given data I did this diagram as I told I did one vertical line so first initial point I have marked O after that at 6.5 centimeter I have marked C Okay. after getting C point again I did one line here 1.1 centimeter after that I took here 75 degrees line with the vertical on it OA I have marked OA what is OA value 2.8 centimeter by using compass I have marked 2.8 here so what is the AB distance AB distance is 4.4 centimeter by using compass okay we took 4.4 I did one arc A as center Similarly, BC is given 49 mm or 4.9. By taking 4.9, I have cut the torque. We will get B point. Okay. So, BD is given again 4.6 centimeters. By using compass from B, we took one arc here on the horizontal line. We did already one horizontal line. So, we will get intersection point is D point. So, join all A, B and D points. You will get this mechanism. Okay. As I told, the crank is rotational speed is 600 rpm. And then, what we have to find in it? We need to find the slider velocity. This velocity, linear velocity, we have to find. And then also we have to find BD link angular velocity. Okay. 
so let us do the velocity diagram so that we can find vd and omega vd okay so before finding it find the linear velocity of oa how to find linear velocity of oa as we know just note down n oa is equal to given value 600 rpm so how to find out omega oa angular velocity 2 pi n by 60 2 pi n oa by 60 yeah always remember if angular velocity is in rpm how to convert in radian per second means 2 pi n by 60 we have to take so 2 pi n means 600 by 60 okay so 0 0 6 change of the value is 25 radians per second do we calculate this value so according to calculate we are getting 68 62.83 radians per second okay. by using this value shall we find linear velocity v o a we have one formula for finding this v o a is equal to omega o a into whatever length we are taking we are taking o a length crank o a is crank length we have to take for finding the linear velocity linear velocity units are meter per second okay so substitute this omega o a or rotational speed here 62.83 into what is o a length here o a is 2.8 centimeters we have to convert in meters so 2.8 by 100 so here i am writing 2.8 by 100 so do with calci this value Using Calci, we got V O A is equal to 1.759. We can write 1.6 meter per second. Instead of finite, I am writing 6. So after finding this, we have to do the velocity diagram for this diagram. This is calling uh, space diagram. Why we are doing velocity diagrams means we have to find velocity of the slider. Okay. And we need to find uh, angular velocity of BD link. It has asked in the question. Okay. From this space diagram, we will do the velocity diagram. And here, uh, we need to find uh, linear velocity as well as uh, for the BD link angular velocity. Let us do taking velocity diagrams, whatever uh, the given values 1.76 meter per second, we have to mark on the with the scale okay, in terms of centimeters. That is why we have to take in velocity diagrams scale. The same value I am writing here. Okay, So, I am taking scale 1.76 meter per second is equal to 4 centimeters. Okay, so this scale we can take, we can mark the length according to the scale. Let us do the velocity diagram for finding VD value, VBD value. Okay. So here we have to fix the drafter like this for finding the velocity correctly. Okay, so in exam also we have to take the drafter and we have to fix it. Let us take first what are the fixed points in this given mechanism. So here O and C are the fixed points. Wherever fixed points are there, the meaning is velocity of those points is zero. We are considering only one point. Okay, O comma C. Always mark small letters here in the velocity diagram. After that, always remember for the slider, velocity is always horizontal. Okay, just do one horizontal line here. It may be in this direction or in this direction. Okay, so D is sliding horizontally in any direction like this or like this for our slider only you have to do the line like this just thin line you have to do okay so vd may come this side or this side next is oa velocity just now we did okay now here always remember whatever link we are taking the linear velocity is perpendicular to it if you are taking crank linear velocity it is perpendicular to the link position if you are taking AB, linear velocity it is perpendicular to this link. Perpendicular means 90 degrees. Okay. And if you are taking BD, it is perpendicular to the BD link. If you are taking BC, linear velocity it is perpendicular to the BD link. Why it is perpendicular means if you are taking wheel, any car wheel or cycle wheel like that. If you are taking any point, the velocity is perpendicular to this position. Okay. If you are taking here, the velocity is perpendicular to it like that that's why if whatever links we are taking the velocity is linear velocity is always perpendicular to the position of the link okay. now here mark uh, this velocity 1.76 meter per second or we are taking scale 4 centimeters perpendicular to this link 
how to do perpendicular so by using the drafter fix one of the scale of the drafter to this line okay to this line perpendicular line we can do with this scale because these two are perpendicular okay so what i am doing is i am doing here perpendicular line how much distance it is 4 cm so i am taking 4 here directly 4 cm okay so this point is small a always remember in velocity diagram we have to mark letter small a so you see here okay and then what is the ab link velocity we don't know but a we know okay here just i told the linear velocity is perpendicular to i am just keeping one of the scale of the drafter here just with a i am doing line like this so here i am doing the line like this length we don't know just do one line after that bd velocity okay and next point is c we know because c already we have marked here bc velocity is perpendicular to this link just to do from c perpendicular line okay the intersection point of c and a is b c and a is this is b now do bd so b we know so do bd velocity linear velocity fix this line here fix the fix this scale here so from d to the line here like this to this horizontal line horizontal is the position of this uh, slider okay so the intersection point is d here so this is d remove this extension lines or lighten these lines okay this is the velocity diagram for the given mechanism so this is the uh, velocity diagram here what is oc and uh, this d means this is the slider velocity okay we can write vd here i will mark with another color so that it is easy for us and uh, this velocity is oa sorry oa is the va velocity and then ab is the velocity like this vab or vba also we can write okay vba and then this velocity is vbd or vbd okay vbd this velocity is vdd okay so we have marked all linear velocities in this diagram so here we have to find the velocity of the slider okay vd value so how to find vd value here this is the vd just now we have marked okay how to measure this value by using the drafter scale we can find vd length okay it is getting almost 3.65 okay now this length is 3.65 centimeters but linear velocity is in meter per second so by using this scale we will convert this length okay so what we are taking scale 4 centimeter is equal to 1.76 centimeter per second okay so for 3.65 centimeters how much this velocity for more value it is also more for less it is also less so less by more into 1.76 so calculation part is important here less value in these two is 3.65 by 4 into 1.76 so do we can see this value so 3.65 into 1.76 divided by 4 it is getting 1.6 meter per second this is the slider velocity linear velocity so here i am writing vd is equal to 1.6 meter per second so here you write slider velocity so keep in the box all velocities because so many calculations are there if you are keeping the answers it is easily to write at the end and next what we have to find after we are getting linear velocity so we need to find the bd link angular velocity first i will do we will find linear velocity of bd okay so bd linear velocities this is a linear 
velocity just measure this value okay now we are taking here i will write bd link what is this length how to measure this length here i am taking by using this scale just measure this value it is almost getting 3.9 centimeters okay so this is a 3.9 centimeters for finding linear velocity again we have to take the scale okay now here i will write scale is for 4 centimeter the value is 1.76 centimeter per second for 3.9 centimeter okay just now we have measured for 3.9 centimeter how much this velocity okay so it is a linear velocity vbd is equal to this is a less value this is a more value less by more 3.9 by 4 into 1.76 meter per second this value we will we can get by using the calcium it is getting 1.7 1.7 meters per second okay VBD. now here this is the linear velocity of the bd link what we have to find we have to find the angular velocity okay so any relation between linear velocity and angular velocity we have one relation vbd is equal to omega bd into what is the bd length virginal length bd length is already we took it is given it is 4.6 centimeters okay 46 mm means 4.6 centimeters convert in terms of meters means 4.6 by 100 okay so centimeters i'm converting meters what is vbd value 1.7 omega bd we need to find into 4.6 by 100 so omega bd we need to find this value is equal to 1.7 into 100 by 4.6 okay this value we have to do with calcium so this is coming 36.9 so what are the units for omega radians per second or a d okay radians per second so this value is the angular velocity of the link bd so these two are the required values in a given problem here according to the dimension sometimes diagram will be given sometimes diagram is not given if diagram is not given by seeing these values it is easy to construct always use drafter for this type of velocity diagrams and acceleration diagrams okay so after that here do the velocity diagrams in it mark all linear velocities if angular velocity is given just to find out by using this equation Okay, linear velocity so here take the scale now find out this length unknown values vd v b d like that and then from it find out the angular velocity if required so this is the procedure of doing the velocity diagrams